What's going on guys, JFC here. It's Best Players of FIFA. Updated Future Stars edition. I'm uploading this right around the Future Stars promo being released. I like to do these about once a month, trying to like keep up with the power curve and all that stuff. And now we're getting to that time where like, price ranges are a little bit more right most people have a little bit higher budgets now they can afford a couple of those really high-end players this is going to be a video mainly for them we're still going to have some cheaper options in here too but this video we're going to go really price range mostly out the window i've been playing a lot of elite division a lot of fud champs and stuff like that in the high end over the last month i want to show you guys the players that i have enjoyed the most and who i've hated playing against the most because that's always a good barometer of like how good a card is if i absolutely cannot stand who up against a card i'll put them in my team be like oh my god this card's amazing so i'm kind of going to go off the top of my head and figure out which cards i can think of immediately strike me as like really annoying to play against or really good for me right i'm going to start with like a starting 11 here of like what i think like really like the best 11 is in my opinion just like right off the top of my head that i can name and then we'll go down here to the bench and reserves and kind of fill it out a little bit and put in some more players that i think are just like the best cards in fifa right so strap in it right this is going to be for the, for you rats out there you elite div rats who want to finish in that like higher ranks these are the kinds of players that can help get you there right let's start off with dudek and goal i immediately think of him because He's really like pretty slept on in my opinion. But Dudek, in my opinion, has been a very good keeper for me. He seemed like really one of the most consistent keepers in my opinion. Him, him and the team of the year Courtois really have been probably the mo two most consistently annoying. Well, I actually have a loan of him. Two most consistently annoying keepers to play against. For whatever reason, whenever I play against Dudek or the rare times I do, it's very annoying. And I've liked using it myself. So that kind of tells me that I was right in the assumption that Dudek is pretty good. Goalkeepers are pretty negligible anyway. There's not too much of a difference between all of them. I'm not going to get too worked up about goalkeepers, really. Right backs, I wanted to talk about because Team of the Year Hakimi, obviously, is probably number one. Just because Hakimi before he got a team of the year card was probably number one anyway so you just add a team of the year stats on probably number one right but don't even you but you don't need me to tell you that but i will say though i'll pick somebody who's probably a little more underrated and also i think is honestly very close to that level and it's team of the year icon zanetti i think zanetti's fantastic high high work rates uh everything about him is great the only thing ever holding zanetti back really was his jumping was never very good and his pace was just a little bit too slow i think that those problems are gone with this card and this card's amazing it definitely is zanetti's best year of FIFA in quite some time in my opinion center back there's two guys here that are I, I think head and shoulders honestly yes I'm gonna say head and shoulders like that much more above the rest and that's a uh, team of the year Van Dyke and now it's not surprising right but uh, this other card I think you guys know who I'm gonna go with here and that would be Mr. Lucio this Lucio um the world cup hero version the base hero version I don't care which version you get of Lucio these two center backs are the best right here now Van Dyke it's more like I put putting him in here, even though it's a very obvious choice, because of the fact that like you can use any Van Dyke card. If you got his other previous special version or just his gold card, even Van Dyke, this is the best Van Dyke here since FIFA 18. I'm trying to remember like the prime Van Dyke here. Maybe it's FIFA 19 where he was like amazing, but he's back and better than ever. And Lucio is outrageous as well. If you played against Lucio, you probably wanted to insert word I can't take. I'm gonna get demonetized here when you play against him now left back i'm trying to think of who there's a couple options that we got here i think my favorite left back is going to be mr captivia this card obviously as you guys know um was 250k at one point he's 700 plus now because uh pros are using him people started to realize how good this card was like it's kind of slept on to start with taller fullbacks are very good and captivia has got everything he'd want and uh hero juice that's all i'm gonna say hero's got juice and uh captivia definitely has that juice the other one i'm thinking of is probably who you're all thinking of um i i i don't want to talk about him because i i just his card is so broken every single year it's kind of hilarious and that's mr mendy um he's amazing uh, nothing else needs to be said about Furlan Mendy. But I think I'm going to go Captivia over Furlan Mendy for the best player in terms of the position. DM, I'm going to pick one holding midfielder here. A guy who I can immediately think of for holding midfielder is a guy who most of you probably wouldn't expect. Most people probably pick, I'd pick Patrick Vieira here if I could find him. Here he is. Um, but I'm not going to go with Vieira. I think Vieira is the second best holding midfielder. I think he's also S tier. I think Lothar Mateus. Um, I have his baby card. This could be obviously a little bit of bias, right? Because I've used Lothar Mateus for so many games. How many games have I used him for? 238 games. He's the best interceptor I've probably used in any FIFA. Uh, if anything is close to him, it's it doesn't matter. It's over. 96 interceptions. This is just his baby card. Um, and I know people would, might say he's a more of a box-to-box -box midfielder, but I think his defensive abilities are so strong that I don't even want him to be box-to-box. -box. I just want him to stay back and like protect my back line. Mateus is 
He's insane. He's insane. I think I like him more than Vieira, but it's pretty close. Let's put Mateus in there. We'll look at other DMs later. The like box to box midfielder, kind of like more of a free roaming midfielder role. This is like the easiest choice for me ever. The this card it defies stats. FIFA stats don't matter to this card. Imagine this Yaya Toure card should have ten more in every single attribute category. That's what it feels like in game. Um, his pace is better than that. It feels like. Strongest player on the pitch. Interceptions at 78 is the fakest stat of all time. Passing's great, shooting's great. Yaya Toure, without a doubt, is the player that's going to be in here. They have two cam spots here, two strikers. I'm going to give it to two strikers. Um, I think I'm going to give one cam spot to be like a number 10 kind of role, and the other cam spot is like a winger. So let's start with number 10. I think the perfect number 10 card in this game is Neymar. I do think so. Reason being is just not, he's usually, unless you get a Centurion's card, uh, he's just not quite max pace. So I want max pace as my strikers or my wingers, ideally. Number 10, if I'm in like a cam formation, like a 4-2-3-1, uh, it doesn't matter quite as much. But I think Neymar, um, I think Neymar post patch, post lengthy patch, apart from my first one or Pele, uh, sorry for the flex, is probably my favorite player I've used. I just think Neymar does things that other people don't. He just ice skates on the pitch, right? He's just ice skating out there at all times. Let's go for a winger now. A guy who probably is more like a 99 pace kind of player. Um, There's only one guy this is going to be. I'm sure you guys all know what it's like playing against this guy. It's Aloe Ron. Aloe Ron, um, the hype is real for this card. I'm sure you guys know that he's always one of the top cards and like fucking popular and probably one of the most cards you see in terms of like once you get to the higher levels of FUD champs, probably one of, the one of the most popular cards that you're going to see used against you. And the, I think one of the reasons being he has 99 pace. So you can just up his defending, defending. You can just up his shooting and his passing and his dribbling as much as you want to. And Aloe Ron is sick. He he's fantastic in game. 100% worth the coins. One of the best players in FIFA this year. He is a 10 out of 10 card, 100%. Two strikers. This is probably the toughest spot for me. One of them is going to be Mbappe simply because this card, I'm tired of using him. <laughs> but like, if I'm sitting here wanting to get like 18, 19, 20 wins, you know, that's what I strive to get, right? Most time I'm getting 16, 17, but I want to try and get like 19, 20 wins. Mbappe almost has to be in my team. And I have his player of the month version and it, it's just like he does things other people don't on the field. He just gets animations. He's faster than everybody. He's the most annoying card to play against, I think, in the entire game, apart from Erling Holland, who's not in the starting 11, but he'll be mentioned soon, I'll tell you that much. Uh, Mbappe just has to be in it, and I don't want to put him in it because it's Mbappe, and he, everybody uses it, but I have to because he's the best player or best striker, in my opinion, one of the best strikers in the game. I think second best striker, it's, it's really tough between a couple of players, honestly. There's a few guys I was debating on before this video. Um, one's Eusebio. I think Eusebio, I've used him a ton in draft, and he is amazing. One's Team of the Year Benzema. Team of the Year Benzema, this card. I loved Benzema in the start of FIFA, just his base gold card. So that card, is, that, that's this card on drugs, right? This Benzema is outrageous. Team of the Year Holland, another I was thinking of. I've just not used him enough quite yet. He might sneak in here. And the other one I was thinking of was actually somebody who I just personally hate defending against. And that's the five-star, five-star... Uh, path to glory antoine griezmann if it would load that would be really nice the servers are chalked this griezmann card is okay okay servers are back so griezmann the five star five star version like this card is so good i i honestly sometimes i'm shocked how like i know he's not cheap but like how, how, how relatively cheap he is for being a five star five star french player with finesse shot outside foot shooting animations because like griezmann just like certain cards have shooting animations i think griezmann's one of them a lot of cards with base high finishing just seem to kind of get them i hate playing against griezmann i really do but the person i chose here i was also debating pele right i really was but I think that Pele is just not quite as good as R9. I think R9 is the best striker in FIFA. I think he's probably the best player in FIFA. Honestly, he probably is. And I put him in here just because, like, like this starting 11 right here is probably, like, the best starting 11, really. I don't Wait, Courtois wasn't even the starter. What happened to my boy Dudek? Here he is. Um, like, this starting 11 here, like, just looking at his team, they almost all get full chem, by the way, which is kind of funny. Um, if you can get any one of these, well, ignore Dudek, right? Any one of these 10 players, I think that they will instantly improve your team. And obviously, there's more cards out there that will do that. We'll talk about the bench here in a sec. I just had to put an 11 together that I think is, like, probably the best 11 I can think of. And I think this is what it would be. Now, maybe substitute instead of Neymar, maybe I'd put Cruyff in. Maybe I'd put Pele instead of Neymar. But I didn't want to put all, like, the top-end icons. Is that just kind of boring, right? I want to get my point across of a few players that maybe you wouldn't weren't, weren't sure about. Like Neymar, obviously you're kind of sure about, but a little less so than a Johan Cruyff, right? But let's get into the bench now because I want to put like guys who just missed the cut here of the best players in FIFA. There's a lot of them. The goalkeeper, I'm not going to change, right? I have Courtois and uh, Dudek there. 
You can think of Yashin or Vandersar too. That's fine. But goalkeepers, I'm not going to spend too much time on because they're just kind of negligible at the end of the day. I think the second best right back in FIFA is going to be this Kyle Walker card, Pat to Glory. Self-explanatory. I think he's just insane. Center backs though, I'm going to pick three because I think there's a lot of center backs, obviously, that are in the game just in general, right? The thing is captain obvious, but there's a lot of center backs people probably are wondering about you know, who could compete with the Lucios and the Van Dykes of the world, right? Let's actually go back up right here. Gavardio. This Gavardi old card, I'm telling you, it could be recency bias. All right, could be. But I think this card is amazing. He's so fast. He's got higher physical than people give him credit for as well. I think Gavardi old deserves it. I'm not going to say Militao because this is kind of too obvious. Like, Militao is obviously great. But I'll put Koulibaly in here. I think Koulibaly is amazing as well. Let's put in Team of the Year, Icon Vintage. I think these three are cards that maybe you wouldn't quite expect, weren't quite sure are insane. But they're honestly in nearly that S tier of center back. I think Vidic is, Koulibaly and Gvardiol are all three exceptional center backs. Get some CDM center mid combos here. I'm trying to think of some guys off the top of my head. Now one, honestly, right away is Kareem Benzema. This midfielder Benzema card is so good. And basically imagine a Benzema uh, with all the attacking traits of a normal Benzema and just adding the fact he can intercept the ball with the best of them. And he has defending stats. Midfielder Benzema is such a good card. I would recommend trying him. Another midfielder too, Claudio Marquisio. They really did just juice the heroes this year, like especially the new heroes. Like Claudio Marquisio, it doesn't matter what card is base or he is World Cup hero. These stats are way better than they seem in game. Like his interceptions being 83, dribbling isn't actually like that insane when you really look at it. It's fake, all right? These are fake stats. Team of the year midfielders. Um, I think the best one is Jude Bellingham. I do believe so. I think Jude Bellingham is just um he's right on the cusp of that Yaya Toure range I just think Yaya has just said something that Bellingham doesn't quite have if I had to pick between these two cards I think I'd pick that Yaya Bellingham is very close though I think he's better than Modric and De Bruyne I think uh, honestly De Bruyne is probably I want to say this might be his worst year yet of team of the year cards I could be wrong only used him for maybe 15 games, but I think De Bruyne is a little bit underwhelming in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think. I also thought Yaya was underwhelming when I first used him, so it was a show. Uh, you need to use, you, sometimes you need to use a card for a little bit longer. Patrick Vieira, obviously, right? He's he's so good that like he's good every year. Am I going to put him in? Because I want to I want to acknowledge uh, a player's greatness that is underrated in FIFA, and that's uh, Michael Essien. I think Michael Essien is such a good defensive midfielder, man. He's so good, and he's very underrated in FIFA. Like uh, he's people do not use him enough, right? They just don't. I have work rates. That man plays for the badge out there. You want somebody playing for the badge? You pick Michael Essien. I got three spots left for attackers. I'm trying to think of like the radiest attackers. I'm not going to say Cruyff Pele because like that's obvious. I won't say Holland. All right. Holland. I, I, this card honestly could crack into the top two strikers of the starting 11. I just need to use him a little bit more. I just haven't used him quite enough for me to like make a really good judgment of him yet. One player, it might surprise you. All right. I'm going to put Nkunku in here and you might say, okay, this Nkunku card, like what position does he play? It's like he can be a midfielder, it can be a winger, it can be a striker, a cam. I'm putting him in here because I don't care where you put him. If he's in your team, your team's better. It can be a it can be a striker, the wing, a cam, a DM for that matter. Put him in your team, your team's instantly better. His Nkunku card is ridiculous. It's the year of the five star, five star. Everything about him is so good. He's got a finesse shot outside foot, two best shooting traits in the game. Every time I get this card in draft, I'm super excited because I just I don't know where I'm gonna put him in. Every time I play a draft, I don't know where I'm gonna put him, but he's always gonna be in the team. That's kind of the main thing. He'll always be in the team. And Kunku is definitely deserving of like a miscellaneous spot here of the attack. He deserves to be in the attack somewhere. I was talking about Green. Griezmann and Benzema before, so I won't put them in there. Messi and Mbappe team of the years are like obviously going to be in something like this, but I'm gonna, let me pick a few underrated players here. Harry Kane. Yes, that is right. I think that Harry Kane, um, listen, if you're a kind of player who doesn't need to spam skill moves, um, this card is going to be amazing. I love having one taller striker and one shorter striker kind of like playing off each other. And Harry Kane with the outside foot shot trait, five star weak foot. He's super strong. The shooting is outrageously good. That, that's like what you notice the most. The Harry Kane shooting is insane. I'm giving him a spot because don't sleep on the taller strikers, all right? Don't sleep on them. One, they're just fun. And two, you can do good things with them. You really can this year, which I do appreciate from EA. This last player, I'm like trying to think of like a guy who I would put second to R9, right? Like a Choosing between a Pele, a Cruyff, a Eusebio, that kind of thing. Like, just to see who I think I would put second. I'm just looking through here and I'm just like, ah. 
I just want to put Pele because I listen, I, I have him first owner. Like, I'm going to be biased towards Pele. But, like, the things this guy does on the field is just ridiculous. I and mean, look at the in game stats, it's obvious. And, like, I up his physical, so his strength gets a little bit of a boost. 421 games with him. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's nothing much more needs to be said about that. There's, I'm sorry there's not much consistency. Like, some expensive players that are obvious, some that are not obvious. I tried to pick players off the top of my head that I instantly think of, like, when I'm in elite division and top end of FUD champs that I hate playing against. Against. There's the bench there. I think that this is a pretty good looking bench. Most of the guys that are missing the cut are pretty obvious that are still great. So not too disappointed about that. But yeah, who's the most annoying player that you've played against this year? That's what I'm very curious to know. Is there an extremely meta player on this list that deserves to be on here, right? There's players that deserve to be on here. But I only had however many slots to put players. But I know this isn't as much of a video for like the, the, the lower budgets as you might have hoped for. But we'll make a video on that pretty soon. I want to include everybody. I haven't made a video talking about the really expensive players in a long time because more people have coins now. So I think more people are probably curious about the top end cards. But I think it's going to be it. If you have a question about a player, leave a comment down below that I didn't talk about in this video. If you'd like an opinion on them, I can for sure give you mine. I've used most cards in FIFA this year, honestly. I can give you my two cents on whatever player you would like. I love you all. See you in the next video very, very soon. Peace.